In the Nigerian countryside, people also know how to put on shows that are no less spectacular than Ultimate Fighting Championship bouts. Here among the Hausa people, local fights in the slightly insane martial art of them are widespread. Dem bouts once used to involve touchdowns and wrestling, but eventually these aspects were done away with, and dem turned into a kind of boxing. Nowadays, dem fighters travel around the region putting on shows for spectators, who often bet on the outcome. Unfortunately for the athletes, the bouts often end in death. The sport was founded by wandering butchers of the Hausa people, they were generally the lowest caste of their society. When the butchers traveled from village to village to kill animals and process their meat, they also held tournaments for the townspeople. Often these tournaments were held at harvest time, when farming communities were overflowing with money. As the sport grew, it was not just the butchers who began to take part. Men now began training at a young age with others from their region until they were ready to compete in tournaments. The rules of dem are similar, but also completely unique, from modern boxing. Each fight has three rounds, but there are no clear rules about the length of the rounds. A round can end when there is low activity of the fighters. The fighter or the referee announces the end of the round, well, or in the case of a knockout or a knockdown. Once a fighter touches the ground with a knee, arm or body, the fight is over. Fighters usually don't strike with their leading arm, which remains unfolded. It can be used to keep the distance and also to cling to the opponent. A fighter's so-called spear is his strong arm, which is often dipped in sticky tar with broken glass, although this is considered illegal under modern rules. Well, any foot can be used to kick. The goal of the duel is to knock the opponent off his feet. This is called killing the opponent. The terms used in Dyke are often similar to military. Packs of traveling fighters are called armies, and the area in which they fight is a battlefield. Often all these damn fighting events are very popular in Nigeria, draw many crowds of spectators, and are often accompanied by drums and a festive atmosphere.